Hello everyone, I'm Herr Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Germany as we are watching the world, or at least Europe, and Asia, slowly burn. So, um, now this is the beginning of the episode, and I want to try a very, very small social experiment. So, you, for you see, I want to see if I might get a small hit from YouTube or not, I don't know. But, a few years ago, we were in a war against the Nazis, and, uh... YouTube might not like that N-word. So, and Republican Spain doesn't like us either. Oh well. So, we shall see if I can monetize this video or not. And I just want to let you know if it's possible. So, regardless, we defeated the Nazis a few years ago. Anyways, um, Poland is dying. Poland is not ha straight up not having a good time. But the good thing is, uh, the fascist French, Italians, Austrians, Hungarians are fighting against, supposedly, the USSR, at least the common turn, which includes good old Spain. Uh, the Spain in the war, they're not fighting the French. They're not fighting the Pact of Rome, which once they do, is going to get very, very interesting. But right now, we must build, build, build more infantry. Um, I need to guard all the lands around Poland, or the Miedemors faction, as well, I need a couple divisions around Austria. Because just, you, you never know. You never know what fascists might do. And just in case, we're looking pretty good for stability and war support. In any case, I'm going to get Ferdinand Schordner. Because he is skilled in defense and fighting in cold weather conditions. So we get more attack and defense. And I'm only, almost exclusively using infantry right now. Because we are waiting to get tanks. I don't say heavy tanks. But we do have some allies. The Swedes are in. The Norwegians are in. As well as Denmark is into the great... Central European Alliance. Now, right now, we're trying to get the Low Countries in as well because Luxembourg is, is obviously a global power. Belgium and Netherlands, while both are very not extremely, you know, strong, it's good to have them in regardless. Uh, we're doing that. Let's go ahead and focus on some research, some atomic research, because we have six things. Oh, about half, e less than half a year away towards Tiger tanks. Um, but another thing about Adding in the Dutch and the Belgians, besides their army, is using their ships. I could use their ships against... Oh, well, maybe the Dutch ships, not the Belgian ships. Are you becoming fascist? Oh no, more daily democracy, less communism support. That makes sense. You never know if we have to fight the, you know, fascists in the sea, or even the communists in the sea. So, really, we'll see what happens. Um, we're getting quite a bit more army XP, which is nice. I love the army XP. Can we see what's going on? No... More naval XP, not really too much. A little more air XP, yes. Because we also sent an Atache both to Poland as well as China, which is straight up not having a good time. They're actually fighting this war by themselves against Japan. Yeah, that's not good. Because all oh, the puppets are not helping them out, and this there's no historical AI on. Currently, I'm building up way more military factories and a few refineries because we're definitely, definitely going to need those. So right now, I'm trying to build more light tanks, and then I'll get some more light or some improved artillery. We've got improved rubber refining. It's 1939. I'm sitting in a very cold room, so I'm slightly shivering. Whatever. Um, I'm going to go with Field Hospital 2s because i got to make sure that we've got at least enough manpower to last us for a while. Uh, that's going to be kind of a tough cookie. I'm most definitely going to have to go to Service by Requirement, a democratic service by requirement. This is nasty. This is not very pretty whatsoever. And the Poles lost their entire navy. Well, actually, they could probably dock here if they need to. If I was playing as Poland, I would try to use convoy rating or something, at least to get rid of that, because that's not good for them. Ah, improved. Oh, happy 1940, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Let's get some better radar. Uh, we actually might... Ooh, might want to stop building radar. Ah, oh, good. Good. Start, start building radar, especially in, like, Prussia or Königsberg. That's actually a pretty good idea. Let's go ahead and start building that so we can see our enemy strength. And that does help you with your combat ability, so radar does have its benefits. Um, I might just save my political power for more manpower, because we can only raise conscription when we're at war, which I really don't like, but whatever. Ah, low countries membership. Good, 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 good. So, you guys, there's only 18 divisions. I'm most... Definitely we'll have to build some forts all around this line once the Midamores faction falls because uh, Soviet-Lithuanian War, over half a million. 
A little over half a million. Okay, so they're kind of equal, which kind of kind of sucks. Republican Spain isn't doing much. I wish these guys would go to war with these guys, though. Please go to war with these guys. Didn't Romania just guarantee Poland? Oh, but they're guaranteed by the UK. Oh, this could be very interesting. Now we have another focus we could take. Army innovation sounds pretty good to me. But what else can we do? Danubian membership. Shared R&D program. We could help each other out. Ooh, strike at the source. Topple government against the Soviet Union. No reds in Western Europe. Danubian membership. We could get Czechoslovakia in. As well as Austria. It's worth a shot, I would say. It's worth a shot. Because Aust would Austria join... Would we go to war with the communists if Austria joined us? The Danubian successor nations to the Austro-Hungarian Empire have not forgotten what it means to be our ally. We shall offer them membership and protection against the threat of communism. I don't know, but we're going to try it anyways, because why not? You know, they're fighting them. They're allied to France. And if I can, if I can steal off Austria from the Pact of Rome... Oh, yay, Belgium! Ah, oh, they all joined. Thank goodness. That's actually not bad. That's... Uh... Actually, that's not a bad idea either. Ooh, 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 I should have done... I should have done this. Align Hungary, align Romania, so they become more democratic and they can join our faction. But our faction, it's looking stronger. There's the Metamors, which is quite literally... Uh, has membership through the sea. Not the Black Sea, but the Baltic Sea. Okay, whatever. But we do have a good chunk of Scandinavia, as well as the Low Countries. Now, this isn't very optimal. You never know. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Um... You guys, though, see what happens. I'm actually going to do this first. Um, I need a general. Jodl van Lieb. List. That's good. Now we have an entire border garrison. Right. Oh, tank. Good. It feels like I have to fight a two-front war again. That's not very good. Enter Palmer and come over here. I know I need to hold on to Prussia, but... Uh, there's anything I can do to help out Poland, which sounds weird to me as playing as Germany, but if there's anything I could do, I'll try to help them out. Yeah, if you want military access, I will totally give you military access. I will give you docking rights as well. That could that could be maybe very useful. Um, why not? Base reluctance. I'm not going to give you a non-aggression pact, but yeah. If you need to move around, I mean, I'm totally okay. Totally okay. Just keep the Soviets at bay. Just, you know, <laughs> I don't want to go to war with them yet. I'm not ready. I'm just not ready yet. Radar over here would help very much as well. Foreign expeditions, bulwark against Bolshevism. Uh, bulwark. I like saying bulwark. Oh, prepare the inundation lines. That's good. Shell shock spectator of the Great War. Huh. Oh, oh, I made these mountaineer divisions too. That's really good. They're 40 combat width. They have a Pretty good amount of defense. Breakthrough isn't bad. Soft attack is really good. Organization's at 51. Not bad. Thick Mountaineer Divisions, which I'm actually going to throw over here because you never know what might happen. And actually, compare that to our normal division. So this has 135. Defense is still pretty good. This is like less than half the breakthrough, I think. And a little bit more organization. That's a good look. Uh, what? Yugoslavia. Oh, bollocks, some would say. Oh, they have more HP, no. These guys have more HP. This has definitely less organization. Same um, uh, or reconnaissance. More than double the supply, of course. Uh, anything else? Slightly, slightly more piercing. More than double the breakthrough, which is important. More defense. More than double the soft attack. So really, I think that's worth making. Not too many 40 combat with divisions, but enough. Alright, Pact of Rome, I really hope you take out Yugoslavia. Because right now, to me, this is the greatest threat. The common turn is. Hmm. Allies. That's a lot of Pact of Rome. Holy cow, that's insane. When France and Italy ally... Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm going to throw you guys on the line down here. I don't trust France, but I really don't trust Austria. I don't trust anybody here, really. Just take out Yugoslavia. The fascists, honestly, I don't think there's much of a threat as they are, the Comintern is. I just don't have the manpower to take out the Comintern. Of course, without our allies. And we do have good allies here, so... 
Oh, let's take a quick look at losses. So it's not bad. Good. You guys are doing great. You're doing better. You're doing slightly better than before. They have more taken more casualties, which is good. The Pact of Rome is taking even more casualties as well. You're oh oh they're finally fighting. Ooh ooh ooh. Nice. This is good. This is good. I like seeing this. Kill each other off. Because when you're all dead, democracy is going to reign anyways. With mouse sticks. I do want those super heavy mouse sticks. I really do. Even though I almost never use them. Ah, uh, that coffee could be a little warmer. Oh well. Whatever. Uh, how is our construction? We're building a lot of refineries, which isn't bad. Oh no, <laughs> I need more manpower. Oh no, 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 no. Refineries will be fine. I still want more of these bad boys. Follow it up with maybe some more of these bad boys. Maybe the first time making these bad boys for a while. Follow it up with uh, one, a two. Put you up there first. And then you'll go to one, two, three. Good enough for now. Please let me go. Uh, I have to be fascist, communist, or at war. I can't even be non aligned and do that. Anyone have manpower I could have, please? Please? Good, just keep... Oh, look at these Polish... Oh, because of Yugoslavia! Look at those Polish divisions. They're not doing well whatsoever. Hungary, Hungary. I know you want a lot of Yugoslavian territory, but that is disgusting. You have like a... A triangle sticking out. Ugh. This is... Ugh. Oh, please. Oh, God. That's not good. That's just not good. This is... I like this. They actually broke through the Pyrenees, I believe. That's how you pronounce it. Close enough. Anything I can do for get more manpower? Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia might join us. I hope they do. That can make us even stronger. And they've got good forts. They've got really good forts. Ah, oh, Danubian membership. Good. Let's go ahead and do next. I'm seeing nothing that can give me more manpower. Yes! Yep, and I, there goes Austria. They didn't want to do that. Shared R&D program. Atomic research. Technical know-how. Danubian... Expansion. Yugoslavia could join. Romania could join. No Balkan communism. Well, that's all nice and all. Shared R&D sounds pretty good, but let's go back. Naval rearmament sounds pretty good. It's only 35 days, but I don't know. Let's go do some... Gross Raum Wirtschaft. We must prepare Germany for its destiny as a centerpiece of Europe. Our infrastructure will bind together the west with the east and the south with the north. Ah, uh, well, at least we got we have Czechoslovakia with us. So that actually makes us a little stronger. So we've got the Low Countries, we've got us, we've got Czechoslovakia, we've got Scandinavia. We are quite a big faction, and I'm liking that. Now, obviously, no one here really has a good navy, including myself. I have only, like, 20 ships. That ain't much. But actually, this composition isn't too bad. You know, four capital ships, uh, 16 screens, even though these destroyers, they aren't very good. You know, whatever. I'm out of manpower. Why? Why? Oh, and the communists are pushing in ever so slightly. Ooh. Did we get 2500 a month? Yes, we do. And we lost that immediately, of course. Oh, the communists are slowly winning, though. No, 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 no. Oh, but I need more divisions to do this. 18. Are we waiting for more manpower? Oh, you know what? Oh, no. No. You know what? I will get rid of two divisions if that'll help this out a little bit. Good. Good. We have a tiny, tiny amount of manpower. And I'm going to hold on to my political power for now unless someone specifically gives me more manpower. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, they do not. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my days. Well, there's not much I can really do. Can I outfit maybe my current destroyers with anything better um give them level two stuff here wait you have Is this rapid fire wait am i looking at oh i'm looking at cruisers look at the destroyers that's more important right now level one stuff that is not bueno torpedoes um uh, i'll give them that radar yeah that's good Light battery twos, anti-air twos, light engine twos. Yeah, get get them better torpedoes because I'm taking them off. Uh, subs, can I? Depth charges. 
Ah, that's really what I care about more. Let's do that. And you guys, you're pretty much as good as you can be right now. Cool. Let every all this destroyers come over here. Upgrade. Takes 14 days. It's gonna take a while. That's okay. Put you at the bottom. But then put you way at the bottom. So time to go on. The carrier can wait. The carrier can definitely wait. Poland just hold out. Oh, you're getting beaten up. Poland specifically is just getting beaten up. The Baltic countries are doing okay. Finland is holding out for now, but they're still not doing okay as well. Hmm, good. Field hospitals. Let's get some planes, perhaps. So we get better fighters. Nice. Really don't like that Austria rejected us. I don't like rejection, man. I don't like rejection. Good. France. Uh, what's your manpower like? You don't have a lot, which is good. I hope they justify against me. Spain doesn't have a lot of manpower. Italy has some, which is good. Hungary has some. Austria. Limited. Oh my good god. Oh, that's so much manpower. Holy cow. That proves so many babies. Poland, how are you doing? Hold on, Poland, hold on. They're good, do the... Oh, they're out of manpower. Oh, the defense of Poland. That's going to come too late, probably. Oh, God, this Polish tree is so bad. Please, Paradox, fix it up. Um, just in case. I don't trust these guys whatsoever. Uh, Paulus, I know you're not a great guy, but do it anyways. I'll put you down here, just in case. You guys are over there. You know what? I'm going to make sure that I divide these guys up good enough. So, we'll do that. China. China. You looking a little chain? change? Strange there. What happened to China? Yunnan? Who the heck are you? <laughs> oh, you got to love taking off historical AI. But once we have that communist threat on our border, oh baby. Hmm. Poland's done. Warsaw is fallen. Krakow's gonna fall. Did they at least kill an, a lot of enemies? <laughs> only 1.38 million, man. Really, only 832. Yes, 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 yes. Even though we have no manpower, I'm going straight for the tanks. I'm going straight for those Mausers. Yes, make these bad boys. And I'm gonna save up my army XP so that I can get really big boys. Actually, don't even do that. Just switch them over. Who cares about the light tanks? Good. One a week. One and a half a week, maybe. Um, Panzers, yeah. You're going to become a little bit thicker. Go ahead and do that. Only 20 combat with. Heavy tanks will come on the line soon enough. Oh, it's disgusting. That is disgusting. Oh, but France is winning. What are the Allies doing? They're justifying Romania, which is fine, because Russia is going to ask for Bessarabia eventually. Anti-fascist diplomacy. Improve the Stalin line. Operation Z claims in the Baltic. They're already fighting them. Claims on Poland. War with Japan. Ooh, yeah. Let them go to war with Japan. That'd be great. Good. I'm going to continue throwing you over there. Ooh, do those guys have field hospitals? Oh, yeah, they do. That's good. I should research anti-air. I said that before. I need to do that. Panzers. You don't really need field hospitals. You guys, you definitely will. Nice. Good, good, good. All right, let's go ahead and get some aligning Hungary, maybe? Maybe not. Pretty... Romania? Then maybe an expansion. Uh, you know, I'm going to do this just in case we, we need to use it. So, a life lived in fear is no life at all. We must end this threat to our way of life once and for all. The source of communist influence in Europe must be destroyed. I completely agree. Now, this isn't like Old World Blues, where if you don't own or court a piece of territory... You could court within a political power. I like that idea. Please, can I... I actually already own all my core territory and nothing else. Oh, we got another 3,000 men. Well, really, 2,500, but... And they're gone. Probably gone to uh, help out the mountaineer divisions that we continue, continually make. Hmm. The Spanish government has gone into exile. Ireland has joined the Allies. And Spain is done. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Okay, good. We got four more divisions. I like it. I like it. I might need more than two down here. I am just worried about the fascists going to war with me. Oh. Now I'm really out of manpower. Holy cow. If the fascists don't go to war with us, that'll be okay. Because Czechoslovakia has quite a few divisions. Extensive arms exports. Good. Air is our sea. Mechanized offensives. They're becoming very, very democratic. They have a little bit of manpower bonus. They don't have a lot of manpower, though. We got Skoda, which is always nice to have. Happy 1940s June, everyone. Shock and all. Uh, no, 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 no. Heart attack. Heart attack doesn't matter too much. It matters, but it's not extremely important. Uh, oh, another division. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. For now, just plop them right onto him. Good. Oh, actually, let's get... Let's promote a few people here. Uh, Von Lieb, no. Steiner, Steiner. I'm gonna go with defensive doctrine just in case. Yeah. Where are you guys at? You're, um, that's not bad. If they attack me, we're probably not gonna be able to hold. Uh, I, I hope that only the Soviets attack, because France is busy with the Pact of Ro Rome. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Holy cow, that's a, that's a red Europe. Yeah, fairly red Eastern Europe. Why? Why would you leave that? They're not even connected. And this is why I use the state transfer tool. If anything, uh, that's a course state. I'm going to just transfer this over here. And in exchange, you guys can have like... Oh, this is all ugly. This is so ugly, what, you, what you've just done, Soviet Union. I'm going to give this back to Poland. Does that look any better? I'll, I'll give this part to Poland. Just because that was ugly. I don't like ugly things. Oh, what the heck? Oh my goodness. How are you still alive? Um, yeah. Now you have to guard that entire line just in case. Mm. Level 5 forts. Good. Uh, yeah. We're going to need at least level 5 stuff. Allenstein. I'm going to try the defense of Prussia as best as possible. Yeah, that's going to be extremely important. The rest of the line we can probably hold. Uh, you guys. Get on the front line. Oh, crud. That's, we have a massive front line we have to guard, too. Oh, really? I wish I would raise conscription level so that if there's enough world tension, you can raise conscription level. Soviet influence in Europe since the rise of the power of the LK. KP, the Lithuanian Independent SSR, has been working towards closer relations with the Soviet Union. Although Antanas Sinikus remains in office, ministers are chosen for their allegiance to the Soviet Union, and a large part of the nation's sovereignty has been surrendered. Soviet officials state that Lithuanian Independent SSR is merely seeking protection as a response to Europe becoming increasingly unsafe for smaller nations. The Soviet Union also reiterated they are willing to extend such protection to any state that felt threatened by neighboring countries. I mean, there are fascists to my east. Well... Actually, south, because that's west. West and south. To the east, we got a lot of commies. I would be very scared if I was Bulgaria or Europe. And I basically just read that same thing for Finland. Oh my goodness. That's disgusting. Did they just eat all of Finland? Did they literally just eat all of it? I thought they puppeted it. Oh my... Oh, oh god. I hope you guys can defend up north. I hope to god you guys can. Oh uh, yeah, build forts. Build, 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 build. We're going to become... What was it? Hans the Builder. Not Bob the Builder. Who the heck is that? But Hans the Builder. Oh, Republic in Spain. You're in Poland? Hmm. Yeah, keep building. Keep building. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Uh, if I, I will have the ability to strike at this source. But we shall see. Now, they have a lot of manpower and a lot of divisions. Poland has, well, half a million manpower still. They're becoming more and more democratic and less communist by the day for... A while. Till January of 1942. Actually, that's kind of interesting. Oh, my goodness. I am not quaking in my boots. There's no point to be quaking. But this is turning out to be very interesting. You know what? To help speed stuff up, I'm going to delete one division. You know what? I don't even want to build these right now. I want to convert to make sure that we have enough tanks as is. Good. Ah. Oh, Trotsky survived assassination attempt. That's actually not bad. If he can start a civil war in the Soviet Union... Mmm... That'd be tasty. 
That'd be very, uh, very tasty. Strike at the source. We're doing this just in case. Hungary demands Transylvania. Hungary issued an ultimatum to Romania demanding the return of Transylvania. No official response has been yet made, but Hungary has hinted that the force of arms will be considered if their demands are rejected. Well, Romania, you have enemies on all sides. I could invite Romania, but they might not join us. Let's take a quick look. I haven't done influence Romania or Hungary yet. They're not aligned. Are they going any direction? They might become more democratic in time. Oh, but they're more... Oh, they have daily fascist influence. From who? Hmm. Hmm. If they're in a faction with us... Uh, I could get them as a puppet still. Uh, it's worth a try. It's worth a try. Let's get to Romania. Romania is already in our sphere of influence, but we could easily sway them further to our way of thinking, making them even more easily manipulate, manipulated in the future. China? Okay. All right. Good luck, China. China, join the mutual assistance block. Oh, well. Well, at least they're doing something. That's weird that Southeast Asia is in the Pact of Rome. At least, well, I guess Yunnan became China. Do you have cores over this territory? Yeah, at least they've got cores. Maybe you can do better than what China normally did. Communist China is, well, communist China. We'll see what happens. What am I building, though? Forts. Good. Just keep building those forts. For the love of God, keep building forts. I just hope to the Lord we can survive. 1940s stuff. 1940s. Planes. Good. Um, Junkers. Get some Junkers in the air. You need more infantry. I need more infantry. Holy cow. What is the, How's the war going now since they don't really have a border with each other? 448,000. Uh, losses aren't increasing. They'd have to capitulate nation France or national France, Italy, and Hungary versus the Soviet Union. I, to a degree, I kind of hope Romania gets taken out so that these guys can kill each other in Romania. That'd be a lot more fun, but we have more than enough political power for me right now to make a change. Anything to help me in defense? Because I might just go to war with them. Uh, not really. Air Force. Air Reformer? Hmm. Plain stuff. Plain stuff. I'm going to go with something I don't always choose. Let's go with Mes Messerschmitt. That might be useful. That might just be. Ships. We are trying to build up the rest of these ships. Focke-Wulf. Nice. Very nice. Naval bombers. Let's get some better carrier planes, too. What are these guys up to next? Far East fortifications, alright. Uh, what is the UK doing? They're just sitting there. Commonwealth ties. Oh my god, come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Do something. Literally do something. Call in the Allies. Start beating up the French. Start beating up the Communists. Some Do something. They could do the Imperial Federation. Ooh. Oh, yeah, go war with Italy. War with Italy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that, guys. Come on. War with Italy. That's that's good. That's good to do. Seeing as the Germans are out of manpower. Oh, Polish People's Republic. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Sweden, are you... You can't mobilize any further. Because you're con hindered by the limited conscription. Norway. Zybis on Ma. Join them. They, at least they've got the divisions up north, which is really good. They actually might be able to hold against the river up here for a while. A good while. We're out of manpower again. Belgium, they're training their soldiers, which is good. I know we haven't been at war, but this is just... It's all precautionary. It's all just precautionary. Um, Czechoslovakia. 53,000 is not bad. They haven't changed very much. Netherlands haven't changed very much. Uh, Belgium hasn't changed that much either. Foreign expeditions, volunteer corps. Luxembourg. At least we got the powerhouse of Luxembourg with no manpower and a single division. Build, 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 build. Okay. Japan. Japan, you're just making bigger. What the? Okay, well, good luck, you guys. Let's maybe go ahead and try to align Hungary. Hungary is already in her sphere of influence, but we could easily sway them further to our way of thinking, making them even more easily manipulated. Manipulated in the future as well. Ooh. Oh, I could invite Romania, but do I want to? Because if I did and I got into a war, that would be an extreme front line. Oh, what the? Oh, no. Wait, Hungary. What? Dem 
we can't do this, Hungry. We you don't do this. Don't do this to us, man. I don't have the resources to take out the fascists and then take out the communists. Uh, and uh, they, they'll take a while to kill off these guys. If possible, they might just go to war with the UK before me. I don't want to pull off divisions. I really, really don't. But if the fascists want to go to war with us, I have to meet them head on. Oh my goodness, this is not good. Uh, I'm going to tell them no. I've got to tell them no. And you know what? I'm going to get Romania in the faction too. Yeah. So that this way, I have another ally over here. If the USSR goes to war with Romania, we might be able to hold, they might capitulate, but that will draw in the allies, which is going to be an extremely important part to do. Right now, go ahead and help garrison against Hungary. Because if they want to just, if the Soviets want to justify against us, we will know if they are. Yeah. I can overthrow their government because I'm a peaceful democracy. Ah, oh, crud. I am uncertain of the future. Huh. Alright, very good, very good. Actually, if the fascists go to war with us, we could end up um, raising our conscription level, so that wouldn't be the worst thing. We do have a small little Ostwall over here. We might be able to hold out against the French, too, which would be great. Oh, they got a lot more. Oh my god, that's so much manpower. Alright, Hungry. I hope you know what you're doing. Even though... I hope you're becoming more and more democratic. 0.34? No? Yes? No, you're not. Wait. Oh, now I'm doing that. Romania's becoming more democratic, which is good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw you over there first, too. You guys, Romania. Flexible foreign policy. Good. The Sentinel of the Motherland. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Are you becoming more democratic, Romania? 0.98? Yes, you are. Thank God. That's good. Um, next up, Demand Transnistria. Oh, uh, the Cordon Sanitaire. But that's pretty much all the time that we have for today. Oh, I hope they go with pro ally government. That'd be so important. But, anyways, thank you very, very much for watching, guys. We have seen Europe just go to town on each other, just like normal, you know. Just great European things. But, anyways, leave a like if you like the video, maybe. Subscribe if you're new here. Check out my Discord link below. And I will let you know tomorrow if saying the word Nazi. Could get me a strike. I don't know. Probably not, but you never know with YouTube. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. See you tomorrow, and have a great day.